In bitterly cold northern waters, a scientist hunts for an underwater forest, kelp specifically. With ocean warming and climate change, we know things are going to change. And so we need baseline information about what's here now so that we can detect change in the future. All that information is hidden in these waters in Cambridge Bay, off the coast of Victoria Island in Nunavut. In the Arctic, it's extra challenging because you have to get into water that can be zero degrees Celsius. So it's really, and it's not for everybody. Inuk expert John Lyle guided the team to good fishing spots. He too is learning more about where kelp is hiding below, providing food and shelter for marine life. I learn what they see and they tell me and then I find a new spot for diving. It's been decades since kelp was studied in this region. The most recent samples collected by botanist RKS Lee in the 1960s and 70s. So these scientists weren't quite sure what they'd find when they ventured out. But then, the mother load. We're seeing massive, massive, massive kelp, more than six feet tall. I think they look like they're more than eight feet tall. A true kelp forest in the Western Arctic, a hot spot for biodiversity that may offer clues about the impacts of climate change. It's this super huge like discovery that we found this on our almost our last day. Well done, divers. As the Arctic warms nearly four times faster than the rest of the world, scientists hope to learn more about which kelp species will adapt to warmer waters and what that means for the larger food chain. There's a, a complete forest living there, and we never realize how much these forests are connecting to us. It's not because you live in Montreal or Ottawa, then you're not connected to the ocean. The ocean is always connected to you. Amanda Savoy plans to return regularly to monitor this crucial habitat and the life it supports. Jayla Bernstein, CBC News, Montreal.